Want to know why lymph nodes are so important in breast cancer and why you may be offered a sentinel node biopsy? We will teach you all about it. If you have been diagnosed with early invasive breast cancer, and the vast majority are, you will likely be offered a sentinel node biopsy to see if the breast cancer has spread there. You need to understand the concepts behind this somewhat overlooked procedure. This way, you can avoid a more extensive axillary node dissection and be prepared for what you will face on the day of your breast cancer surgery. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you why axillary lymph nodes are so important. I'm gonna share with you why a sentinel node biopsy is better than the older, but still used, axillary node dissection. I'm gonna tell you what to expect the day of surgery so you are not surprised. And I'm gonna tell you why the Z11 trial changed everything. And I'm also gonna share with you who might be able to avoid a sentinel node biopsy altogether. So let's get started. So why are lymph nodes so important in breast cancer? Of all women that come in and are diagnosed with breast cancer, about 30% will have cancer in their lymph nodes, cancer that is spread from the breast to the lymph nodes, generally underneath the arm, called the axillary lymph nodes. And why do we need to know this? Well, if you have node positive breast cancer, it is more of a threat to you than if you do not. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have a one centimeter small breast cancer, everything else looks great. And we find no evidence of cancer in your lymph nodes, then you will likely not need chemotherapy. It's possible, it's just one of many factors to help determine that. But let's say you have that one centimeter breast cancer and we find cancer in one or two axillary nodes then that opens the book for your treatment options and it brings chemotherapy a little bit more into play. It doesn't mandate it, but it brings it more as a treatment option to you. So lymph node status is one of the major factors in determining the type of surgery we offer, the type of chemotherapy or whether or not you get it, hormonal therapy and radiation therapy in order to cure your breast cancer. So what is a sentinel node biopsy and why is it used the most? Well, in the past, for decades, when you have breast cancer, we would remove all of the lymph nodes underneath your arm in the axilla. And everybody's got 10 or 20 lymph nodes underneath the arm. And in the past, we would just simply remove them all, look at them under the microscope to see if there's cancer there. One of the downsides of an axillary dissection, removing them all, was that it left significant numbness in the armpit and in the upper inner arm and really left a not insignificant risk of developing swelling in the arm called lymphedema. So an axillary dissection is a good surgery for the people that need it. Luckily, not many people do because it has side effects. We wanted to find a different way to do it. And now we know that cancer in the breast, typically if it's going to spread to the lymph nodes, it's gonna to go to the first one, two, or three lymph nodes underneath the arm before it goes to the other 10 or 20. And those are called the sentinel nodes. And now we know how to find the sentinel nodes. So the concept is, remove the first one or two lymph nodes that cancer are most likely to go to. And if we look at them underneath the microscope and there's no cancer there, then we are fairly confident that there's no cancer in the rest of the 10 or 20 other lymph nodes left behind. And it leaves much less side effects than an axillary dissection. So, most people that have a sentinel node biopsy have no cancer in their lymph nodes. But if someone does, it can expand the way we treat them, chemotherapy, and also possibly more surgery, but usually we don't do that as frequently as we used to do in the past. So what should you expect on the day of surgery if you're going to have a sentinel node biopsy? Well. It's a long day and you typically come in hours before your surgery and you will likely go for a small injection into that breast that you're going to have surgery on of a minimally radioactive tracer into the skin. And that tracer tends to filter through the lymphatics to the first one, two or three lymph nodes underneath your arm, the sentinel nodes. 
Then you see your surgeon, they talk to you about the surgery, you go to surgery. They're addressing the breast cancer and your sentinel node biopsy. During the surgery, your surgeon will typically inject a small amount of blue dye in the skin of the breast, and it helps them see the sentinel node that also may have the radioactive tracer in. So they then, either through a small incision underneath your arm, or even through the lumpectomy incision, find, using a small Geiger counter, and looking for a blue node, because of the blue dye can spread to the sentinel node and lodge there and identify it for them. And they use these two techniques, either one or the other, or both, to find the sentinel node and remove it. We call it a biopsy, but in effect, we actually remove the one, two, or three nodes. It could be more, it can be one, but typically the average is about three. So, if you're gonna have surgery, you're gonna expect to do some things before surgery, and after surgery, most people have a lumpectomy and a sentinel node biopsy, and it's important to remember that the breast may have some discomfort after surgery, but any time we work underneath the arm, the discomfort generally is a little bit more underneath the arm than even in the breast. So keep that in mind as you're recovering from surgery. There's generally not a problem, but that's typically expected after a sentinel node biopsy. So why do you need to know about the Z11 trial and why it changed everything with sentinel node biopsies? Well, in the past, you would go to surgery, your breast surgeon would do a sentinel node biopsy. They pull out one, two, or three lymph nodes. But more so in the past, we would send that to the pathologist to look at it underneath the microscope to see if there was cancer there while they're continuing with your surgery. And if there was cancer in one of those nodes, your surgeon would then remove all the lymph nodes, an axillary dissection, a bigger surgery, more side effects. The Z11 trial reported that even women with very early stage breast cancer who have evidence in a small amount of cancer, maybe one or two lymph nodes, do not benefit from the more extensive axillary node dissection. So what that means for you is that we now are doing fewer axillary node dissections if you have a small amount of cancer in one or two nodes. There's a whole set of criteria for not reverting to an axillary node dissection for your surgeon. But let me get to the main point. Some surgeons have not bought into the Z11 trial. No trial's perfect but it really is felt by most thought leaders in breast cancer to be the standard of care now. So, what you wanna do, and you can surprise your breast surgeon, is ask them if they follow the Z11 trial in managing your sentinel node. So, you just want your breast surgeon to have a discussion as to why and when they will revert to removing all the lymph nodes underneath your arm. It's oftentimes needed, and it is a complex discussion, but you want to make sure they're not simply taking all of your lymph nodes out in an early stage breast cancer, uncomplicated situation, when they didn't need to. So who can avoid a sentinel node biopsy when most need it? Well, again, if you have invasive breast cancer, we generally recommend a sentinel node biopsy for early stage breast cancer. It's a complicated decision process, but that's a general concept. I'll give you a few examples of people that may not benefit or might be able to avoid a sentinel node biopsy, meaning the risk outweigh the benefits of a sentinel node biopsy. So if you have DCIS, a precancerous change, stage zero breast cancer, on a needle biopsy, and you're gonna undergo a surgery for this, you might be able to avoid, in fact, most are able to avoid a sentinel node biopsy. There's some distinct indications for doing a sentinel node biopsy for this precancerous condition for a lumpectomy. And those are difficult decisions that you and your breast surgeon will have to make. If you have invasive breast cancer, most people benefit from a sentinel node biopsy, but there are a few exceptions. 
If you are older than 70, but are very healthy and vigorous, it's probably best just to proceed with them. But over time, we have done less sentinel node biopsies on people over 70. The way I like to think about it is that if you are older, 70 or older, 80s or 90s, if you have health problems, um, you have difficulty getting around, you use a walker to walk because you're unsteady. And of course, if you're older and you fall and you break your hip, it's a life-threatening situation. It's something that you wanna make sure that someone's safe on their own. And surgery underneath the arm, especially some discomfort, even with a sentinel node biopsy, can destabilize someone. So if someone has a lot of health problems or is unstable on their feet, and generally if that's the case, they have other health problems, it's worth discussing with your surgeon if you can avoid a sentinel node biopsy. If you're someone that is not at all healthy enough to undergo chemotherapy, then the rationale is why check the sentinel nodes if you're not healthy enough for chemotherapy? And the chances are you probably don't have any cancer in those lymph nodes. And if you did have cancer in one node or two, you are not gonna do chemotherapy, and you're probably going to treat it in a different way. So it's a complex decision process. But if you seem to meet some of these criteria, engage your breast surgeon about whether or not you need a sentinel node biopsy. Most do that. If your breast surgeon recommends a sentinel node biopsy, learn the concepts and what to expect. If you are still unsure what a sentinel node biopsy means for your unique breast cancer situation, engage your breast surgeon about sentinel node biopsy. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.